just got back from G-Fest. And oh my god, it was amazing. I'm exhausted right now, but I need to do this video. I need to share with you my experiences. If you didn't get to go, well, I'm hoping that you will get some inkling of what it was like to be at G-Fest. So here it goes, G-Fest recap right now. So G-Fest 25 was probably one of the most amazing and enjoyable experiences that I have had in a long time. And comparing it back to my experience back in 2007, which was also very fun, I have to say that I had just as much fun this time, if not more, because I got to meet Megumi Odaka, who played Miki Sagusa in the 90s uh, Godzilla films, and of course I got to meet Ken Pachiro Satsuma, who played Godzilla. The, the He's a suit actor who played Godzilla throughout the 90s Godzilla movies, and he also played various monsters in the 70s as well, so it was really cool getting to meet these legends and getting to spend time with other fans, getting to reunite with people who um, were on my site, Kaiju Galaxy, getting to meet artists, getting to buy a bunch of people's art. That was something very huge for me. So I'm like, I am apologize if I stumble over my words. I am really tired, but just bear with me. I'm going to start at the beginning. Um, day one of G-Fest, which was pretty chill. I honestly just uh, registered, got to meet a little, a few people. Um, I went through the dealer's room, which was pretty awesome. I have some footage of the dealer's room to share as well. Um, it was really overwhelming. The dealer's room was very crowded, and it was to me it seemed a lot more crowded than it was way back in 2007 when I went. But it was really fun. I, I didn't really purchase anything other than, oh, my mom bought us t-shirts, but I didn't really get anything from the dealer's room. I was mostly interested in the artist alley. So that was mostly day one. I went to the dealer's room. I purchased art by Bob Eggleton and his wife. I got to, um, I, I met Matt Frank, which was really awesome. And that was pretty much my, my day number one. Day number two was a lot more involved. Honestly, I didn't get to do as much as I wanted to at G-Fest on day two. I actually had a couple panels that I wanted to go to. I was going to go to one on uh, kaiju writing. Sadly, I missed that because you know me, I love to write fan fiction and I, was, I wanted to see people's perspectives. But I did go to the Megumi Odaka panel interview, which if you go to my Kaiju Galaxy YouTube slash website, you will get to see that. And I also, of course, got to meet Megumi Odaka. And I honestly, I stood in line for probably two hours or so waiting to see her. Um, it, it, it was totally worth the wait. I will just, like, I want to describe what it was like to meet her first and foremost, because as you've listened in my prior videos, you obviously know how significant she is to me. But, um, so I, I, rounded the corner, I was the next one to go, uh, I was about to meet her, and um, she, I was carefully watching, and there were, have, were very few situations where she actually stood up to greet fans, but when I got up to the table, she seemed really excited to see me, and she stood up, took both of my hands, and thanked me for being there, and, and I'm like, oh my god, I should be thanking you for being here, <laughs> and, um, and it, it was really, it was such a surreal experience. She had seen me earlier in the day because I encountered her outside. Um, funny story, my mom texted me and Megumi Odaka was chilling outside getting some fresh air after her interview. And my mom, of course, was just hanging out with Megumi Odaka and her husband, and I was kind of super jealous. So, you know, I go out there and my mom's just basking in her presence, you know, just chilling. And, and I'm out there, I'm like... Oh my god, you know. Um, I, of course, I did not make a fool of myself. I tried to present myself very stably, if that is even a word. But it was it was very nice. It was it was kind of very humanizing for me because you know when we when when, when we adore these celebrities or former celebrities, we kind of have like this larger than life idea of them. But sometimes when you get to meet them in person, you realize that they are still human beings and that they should still be treated as human beings. So, honestly, I didn't really say much to her because I wanted her to get in some relaxation and some fresh air before she went off and signed some autographs. So, but it was really cool being within five feet of her for like 10 minutes. Um, but anyway, back to meeting Megumi Odaka at the table. So, like, she, I mean, I think she probably recognized me from outside. So she, like, she greeted me and she, of course, um, took my photo I had of her, and she signed it and wrote this cute little, um, uh, G-Fest 2018 heart next to it, and it was really sweet. Um, I then, uh, we had a, we exchanged some words, I complimented her earrings, she was wearing the Mothra 
insignia earrings from that she wore in Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla. And then she like told me where I could find some of my own, because I I honestly I don't have my earrings pierced, but I totally buy them just for fun. And she was like telling me where they were in the dealer's room, and it, it was a great experience. She like took me by the hands again, thanked me several times. I thanked her. I expressed my appreciation of her being there. And it just, it was a very wholesome experience, and I was so unbelievably happy, and I still am unbelievably happy. She's such a wonderful person, she's so kind, and I'm glad that she got to see at G-Fest how much our fandom loves her. And I hope that that means that she will come back for future conventions as well. But afterward, I went and I met Ken Pichiro Satsuma, and he he is, by the way, probably one of the most hilarious people in the universe. Uh, we uh, we exchanged a few words. I like I told him I'm like, hey, thank you. I really appreciate you being here. Um, I know like both Megumi and Ken Pichiro speak some English, so they can understand a little bit. But and I tried to keep my words few because I didn't want to take up other people's time, you know. Also, but I uh, shook his hand. He signed the image that I had of him, and then we like did a Godzilla pose. It was really, it was really wonderful. Like it's, I don't know. It's just I grew up with, with these movies and being able to see the individuals who brought to life these characters. It's it's kind of like this bringing your life in full circle kind of feeling to it, but it was it was wonderful. If you guys ever get a chance to go to G-Fest, please meet the actors, because one, they need to know that we love them, and two, you'll feel a sense of fulfillment. You'll feel great. Um, I also got to talk to Robert Scott Field a little bit, um, who played M11 in Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah. I, uh, I, I had met him back in uh, 2007, and we're Facebook friends, so we have like commented on stuff and all that jazz. And I was just catching up with him. He's he was there largely to help facilitate conversations um, for Kempichiro and Megumi Odaka because um, because of course English is not the primary language. So he was translating, which I think is something that we should greatly appreciate because those skills were very useful um, throughout the entirety of the convention. But but that was the highlight of my day on uh, Saturday, uh, the second day. And I, of course, got to meet some friends. I, I uh, caught up with quite a few people from Kaiju Galaxy. It was wonderful. We talked a little bit about like some memories from the site. Uh, and I also talked to them about what I hope for the future. I, For those of you who do not know, I am actually creating a new website for my site, Kaiju Galaxy, where I want to... Um, publish people's fan fiction, fan art, fan poetry, and do like articles and stuff. I'll provide a link in the comment or in the description section below so you can see. But I, I really just want to create something for fans. I, I really missed participating in the fandom and contributing something myself, and that's what I want to do for fans. So I hope that people will go check that out and participate. Um, now for today, day number three, it was pretty uneventful. I The only notable thing that happened to me is I was kind of gallivanting through the hallway behind somebody and I almost ran into Don Fry. Like, I almost physically ran into him. And we had a moment where we were like, oh, hey, hey. And of course, you know, I was like, oh my god. I didn't get a chance to get a picture with him, unfortunately. Um, but it was really cool getting a chance to just bump into him. So, so yeah. Um... But yeah, that's pretty much my recap of G-Fest. It was a wonderful experience. I I loved it in every conceivable way. And if you ever get a chance to go, please do. It's such a fulfilling experience. And it keeps, I mean, it seems to keep getting bigger every year. So, um, so yeah, come to G-Fest. So the last part of my video, I'm going to show some footage of a few things that I took. So enjoy and share your thoughts in the comment section below. And subscribe to my channel if you have not yet. You guys have a good rest of your day.